Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are comparing Figma and Sketch. As you know, both of them are UI design tools. And which one is better? Watch this video to find out. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's make an in-depth comparison of Figma and Sketch. The first point is platform support. Well, while Figma is a web-based tool and works in browser, Sketch is a desktop app available only to Mac users. The second aspect is plugin options. Sketch is dependent on third-party plugins and has tons of them, and these extensions significantly improve its functionality and performance. By contrast to Sketch, Figma was launched with no plugins at all, but now have made some useful ones available to the Figma community. Actually, we have a guide to Sketch libraries. Check out the link in the description box. Next point is prototype design features. Both Figma and Sketch have native prototyping capabilities, and we think it's fair to say that these two design tools are evenly matched in this category. Let's compare their teamwork functionality. Figma was certainly built to support teamwork with seamless real-time collaboration between team players. Unfortunately, Sketch has no native collaboration feature. What do you think? Could the global pandemic and the increase in remote work have contributed to the massive switch to Figma? Drop a comment. And the last point to review is vector networks. Well, in Sketch, designers can only link points to each other. Figma offers vector networks and allows playing around with the geometry of objects. Are there any similarities between Sketch and Figma? At first, let's have a look at functions and features. Figma and Sketch have very similar features and keyboard shortcuts with similar functions, and their user interfaces are generally very alike. Nevertheless, the first obvious difference is the varying terminologies. What Sketch calls symbols, Figma calls components. Where Sketch says artboards, Figma says frames. Sketch labeled its right panel properties, while Figma labeled its inspector, but they both have the same function. Drawing the final conclusion, let's create a table. Figma offers a wider platform support, better collaboration, and comments features. Though it does have a drawback. Offline mode is available for open projects only. Also, Figma offers a free plan, while Sketch provides a 30-day trial. Everything else is the same for both tools. But how can you make a choice? Here's what Jelvik's design team thinks. Both Sketch and Figma are powerful tools for both beginner and professional designers. Go for Sketch if you need offline work, and definitely choose Figma if you need real-time collaboration between large teams of designers. At Jelvix, designers can work both in Sketch and Figma, and they use both of them depending on a particular project. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our experience of utilizing UI UX design tools here as well. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.